Support for your new... Hello? Hello, this is Kanisha with Verizon. That's the time, please. Yes, this is her. Thank you for calling me back. It had been a half an hour. I assumed the line had been dropped. Uh, no problem. I do apologize for that. Um, I'm still working on getting this email sent out to you. Um, other than the tracking number sent to you um, in an email and by postal mail, that other email that I sent to you will be sent to you by postal mail as well. Okay. Um, other than that, Oh, did you need anything else? Um, of course, yes, and thank you for calling me back. No um, since there was such a lag and concern that the call had been dropped and due to the importance of this phone call, um, can you send me the tracking number just real fast on an email so I can have something in writing in case there's another incident with our connection? So um, we're still looking for that tracking number. I have the order number and the tracking for when it was sent to you, um, but we're looking for the return tracking number for when it was sent to our warehouse. Okay, so how did you identify and verify that it had been sent to your warehouse? What tracking number did you use to locate that? Um, it wasn't located by a tracking number. It was updated in our system, automatically done by our system. So on May 26th, at 12.46, the system updated to show the return status for all three devices. Okay. Okay. Um, so, and just to relay what you said to me, you're sending an email um, and you, your company has agreed to professionally send me USPS postal mail. I would request it be... A certified mail but i i don't know if that's really what they're going to do because there's a procedure to that but I, I am demanding due to the fact that it's been alleged that i had a two thousand dollar outstanding debt which clearly i did not i need this in the usps mail so your company has agreed to send this in written statement that this account is finally closed in the mail right so um, as far as that $2,000, um, well, $1,980.46, we still have to get that um, taken care of on the account. Um, so Correct. after this, we can see what we can do about that balance. Okay. Um, because what happened was instead of a ticket being put in for And we did, um, so we have the return tracking number. Um, we're going to get that sent to you by email and postal mail. Yeah, since we're on the phone, uh, can you read to me that tracking number, please? Yes, um, 540-148-2. All right. And that tracking number is FedEx or Verizon's? Because you indicated there was two different ones that is in your database. Um, it's, it's for FedEx, and that's for all three devices. Yeah. Okay. Um, so can you send that to me on an email 
separate from the official letter that I requested, please? Just, I'll, I'll wait for that right now and see if it pops up quick and easy. Okay, um, yeah, so we're getting that email together and you should be getting it shortly. The email together with what, miss? With what? Um, it's gonna be with the tracking number to the returns. Okay, so that's the and second. now we're gonna get into this $1,900 on the account in a second. Okay, okay, so, um great you, you're so i'm just relaying what you just said i have to wait for the tracking numbers it just there's it's, it's going to come in one written statement that includes what again so it's going to come in an email it's going to say that the tracking number shows the device the devices are returned okay and we're waiting on that to get sent to you now. Okay. And then uh, we'll get into the account balance that's um, on the account. Okay, right, which is my next question at hand. So I um, I don't know exactly how your company's approaching this. Um, my logic is you just send out a letter in a written statement. The account has been verified or however you want to term it and case closed but I, correct me if i'm wrong i think i'm hearing that you are doing this in segments so we're going to do tracking numbers first which is kind of what i requested and if i confuse this or i i dictated this bear with me so we're going to do the tracking numbers first and there's like a, a written statement to that and then we're going to go to the next written statement that's fine. The more the merrier for me. Hello? Yes, I'm here. So I'm waiting for the tracking numbers and any sort of written statement and everything else that you had just said. And then I'm going to move on to this account, right? And that's going to also, because it needs to be in written statement that this has been verified. And, yeah. I understand, what, I understand what you're looking for. We're going to get into that in a second after you receive the email verifying the tracking number. Okay, so um, I already waited half an hour for that email. How, how long do you uh, at Verizon estimate this might take? Okay, so we do have, to, I have to speak with a supervisor about uh, what we can do with um this balance on this account. So there was a procedure that could have happened when you when this situation first started but to prevent all of this. But since it did not happen, um, I'm going to see what needs to be done now going forward. So we, you don't have this um, balance, especially going into collections or wherever. Well, so it already I'm has taken care for you. I, I have I, ha I have every reason to believe it already has. And so before we hang up, I need the contact numbers to that collection agency, whether it's a collection agency that Verizon has specified for delinquent accounts, or if it's an outside collection agency, I need all contact and I need written statement from your company that this has finally been closed. Okay, I can provide you the phone number. Um, no, that's not gonna suffice, I need, in writing I the I collection that. agencies I, yeah we're going to get we haven't touched on that yet but we're going to get on that i want to provide you the phone number to your collection agency at verizon or an outside correct it's the verizon it's so the, it isn't so correct me if i'm wrong this account which i don't owe for has already been sent to collections yes or no
and uh, Miss, I can't wait for you and your other department, not you personally, but Verizon and you being an agent acting for them and the other department within Verizon, I can't wait any longer. This has been going on since June. So I can't wait, I can't devote another couple hours even. We need to wrap this up in a timely manner. And I need written statement. I guess we understand. Okay, okay. I mean, I've been on the phone with you for an hour already. So I don't know, it's not my problem how you guys handle these kind of, I don't even know what to call this, but I can't and refuse to engage in this beyond maybe another hour, all right? So within a timely manner, I need written statement of the collections agencies, the names, the phone numbers, and I need written statement that this is now closed. Not tomorrow, not okay, five hours. I may have to... Okay, one second. Not five hours. I'm not waiting for a phone call. I'm not trying to call your company back for the millionth time. I want it in email before we hang up. At least that. Excuse me, are you still there? Hello? Yes, I yes, I am here. So oh, what we right. can do is send a letter stating that we are working on getting the charges removed and you shouldn't be responsible um, for a device that was returned within 30 days of purchase. All right, and send me that right now. I'm, I, okay. I'm not here so, to convenience you, okay? Your, your company is, I have no words right now for how your company's conducted this. I want an email right now stating that. I want it in writing okay. right now. Yes, we're getting that sent to you now. 
Okay. Great. And while that's coming in the email, please give me a receipt in paper written format on the email of my refund to the card ending in 0729. Are you there? Hello? Yes, yes, I am here. And please kindly, while you're sending my receipt, refund, in written statement, and this uh, written statement of further, I don't know what you're even calling this kind of business you're doing, but nonetheless, at least it's in writing. Um, please send me in written statement how to contact your collections department. Thank you. And if, if possible, their address, this is how real businesses function. I'd like the address to that collections department. Thank you. It's three emails. You can put it all in one. Hello, Miss, are you there? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hello, this is Kanisha with Friars. May I speak with Heidi, please? Yes. The call failed. Miss, I did not yes. disconnect that. Thank you for calling me back. No problem. I'm waiting for those emails, the receipt for funds refunded, collections address and phone number to Verizon, and written statement that your company made a grave mistake and i don't know i don't care just that i'm not responsible for this debt owed clearly because this should take maybe 10 minutes how how long do you estimate this will take miss i mean it shouldn't take much longer um i'm just going to place you on a brief hold so i can get an estimated time okay thank you
okay. I was, uh, unbeknownst to me, never informed I was going to be speaking with you. How in what department is this? Say again. You have no idea why I'm speaking with you, and I have no idea. Vice. Okay. This is not acceptable. Um, I've been informed that um, I'm being accused of a debt owed that I don't owe, and the last agent just, without even saying a word, sent me to you. And she said that there's record of all of this phone that I'm accused of owing money for. There's record that it's not stolen, but we could never finalize and wrap it up and get anything in writing and end this today. She sent me to you without even letting me know. No, no, I don't have that information and I'm not going through this anymore. Send me back to the woman that I was just on the phone with, please. Can you do that? I'll go ahead and connect you over back. Thank you for calling Verizon Wireless and have a great night.